We are going to convert the binary number to hexadecimal. Previously, in the playlist linked below the like button, we did an example where we had 8 bits. This one is where we have 12. So we can see we have a set of 4 bits here, 4 bits here, and 4 bits here. Now with hexadecimal, remember hexadecimal means we have a base 16. With binary, we have base 2, which is what this base 2 is right here. So when we look at this, we are going to look at them in parts. So this is going to be the same for all of these. We have 2 to the power of 0, that's for the first one, 2 to the power of 1, 2 to the power of 2, and then 2 to the power of 3. Four different parts here, and that's going to be for each of these right here. Each of these are going to have one of these. So now let's solve for this. Well, if we look at this first one, we see that the only one that we're not going to be using is 2 to the power of 2, because we have a 0 right here. And so that means we are going to have 2 to the power of cubed, and if we do this in colors, drag this down here, 2 to the power of cubed plus a 2 to the power of 1 plus 2 to the power of 0. Now if we add these together, we're going to get an 8 plus 2 plus 1. And this is going to give us an 11. Well, 11 is not b. When we're dealing with hexadecimals, what we're really dealing with is whenever we have like 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, it's kind of like cards where we have a 10 and it's a 10 but everything else is like a jack, a queen, or a king. Now with this one, a 10 is going to be an A. The 11 is going to be a B, 12 is C, 13 is D, 14 is E, and 15 is F. So with this knowledge, we can say that our 11 is going to be a B. And that's how we are going to get this B right here. Now let's do another one. So let's look at this one right here. We have 2 to the cubed, that's going to give us an 8, plus 2 to the power of 1, it's going to give us a 2. So this is going to be a 10, which is going to give us a right here. Now let's look at the next one right here. So you have 2 to the cubed, that's going to be 8, plus 2 to the power of 2, which is 4, so that's going to be 12. So this is 12 right here, which means we're going to have a c right here. We prefix this with a 0x, that means it's a hexadecimal. And that's how we get this as our answer.